My name is uh, Dr. Sanya Nishtar uh, and I'm the Special Assistant to the Prime Minister of Pakistan on poverty alleviation and social protection. Can you please describe your interest in improving people's nutrition? Well, nutrition is getting unprecedented level of attention in Pakistan. Uh, these are very exciting times for us because um, our Prime Minister in his first speech, uh, subsequent to his uh, swearing in, uh, held up a CT scan of a child who suffered from stunting to demonstrate how nutrition was undermining human capital development and how it was impacting uh, cognitive uh, development of children and thereby threatening human capital development uh, in, a, in a sovereign context. Uh, since then, there has been a lot of progress um, his signature program, Ehsas, has been developed. Ehsas in Urdu means uh, empathy for those who are disadvantaged, and I have the honor and privilege of leading that program. Uh, this is an umbrella initiative of 134 policies and programs and initiatives. Uh, it is wide-ranging. It is focused on human capital development, uh, development, on reducing inequities, on poverty alleviation and social protection. And nutrition co cuts across all these themes. Uh, we've taken a multi-sectoral approach to nutrition and we've embedded it in health, in education, in agriculture, in social protection. And there are a wide range of initiatives aimed at addressing malnutrition and on its forms. Uh, from a conditional cash transfer initiative to address stunting, to agriculture value chain building, to embedding nutrition in various facets of health policy, uh, and, and, and it's not just through the policy approach, but also through a regulatory lever that we're addressing malnutrition and the action on adulterated milk and uh, initiatives to improve food quality are part of that approach. Uh, as a government, we are very cognizant of the fact that it is not just sectors within the government that have to collaborate, but also um, there, there is a need to engage the private sector constructively. And hence, we are engaging uh, stakeholders, multi, a variety, wide variety of stakeholders for that purpose. Uh, we've recently launched our website, and there is a portal on the website where we're seeking commitments from uh, entities outside of the government to come in support of the goals that are, uh, that, that, that are uh, germane to uh, the SRS framework um, and also we have recently launched the SR strategy to solicit broad-based consultation on, on the framework and we're, we're extremely excited because this is a very important time to advance the nutrition agenda because as a government we realize that unless we're going to invest in human capital development countries such as ours are not going to be able to compete in the economies of the future. Can you describe um, your commitment to the scaling up nutrition movement? Well, this is my second term as a Sun Lead Group member. Um, it, this is a very exciting initiative because it brings a number of stakeholders around the table um, to, to uh, rally around solutions that have to be uh, multi-stakeholder uh, multi based. And I've seen the impact initiatives such as Sun have created back at home because they have taken out nutrition from dark alleys in uh, very peripheral and remote institutions uh, and have made stakeholders come together very much in the mainstream in broad daylight in support of uh, the nutrition agenda which is truly multi-stakeholder and uh, multi-sectoral in nature.